And it's gotta be To yet another episode of Color Commentary, where we give you, where we, crap, where we, crap, where we give you views from a different side. Of course, I'm Rashad, also known as the Cloak, the Purple Cloak. <laughs> An owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company that sells music and instruments to marching bands all across the nation. Today we'll be reviewing the new Marvel TV show Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger is a comic book character, actually relatively new in comic book history, founded in 1982. Uh, by Bill Matlow, Cloak and Dagger first made their appearance in a Spider-Man comic known as Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. Now in 2018, the show appears on Disney's Freeform as well as Hulu, and Color Commentary took the time to review the first two episodes. So let's get into it. But before I bring in our co-host, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure to give us a like if you like what we're doing. Let's go ahead and get into this. First of all, we have representing the light side, Mr. Danny J. Quick. What's happening over there, Mr. Dagger? What up, everybody? You know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick. I'm actually Black Dagger. <laughs> Black Dagger? <laughs> I don't know. I just I got the dagger and I got the cloak. I didn't I didn't know where to go with it. So. I just I just use both. So, uh, but you know who it is. It's your boy Danny J. Quick, uh, owner of uh, Fourth Wall Productions. I write for Ace Blade. We got Lumberjacks coming up. You know what we do. Um, I hated this show, but y'all liked it. So let's hear it. All right. And representing the dark side, as usual, Mr. Chuck Taylor. What's happening over there, Mr. Cloak? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Wasn't expecting that. Hated the show. Goodness. But uh, he's a contrarian, yeah, man. I, you got you should have <laughs> expected it. Not the hate. The hate was a little bit hate, hate, hate. Anyways, but I'm Chuck Taylor here, uh, co-owner of Cage Party Easy, new parties of all sorts. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I enjoyed the show. I the first two episodes really intrigued me, so I can't wait to see the rest of it. So I'm ready to get into that. All right, so let's get into it then. Mr. Danny J. Quick, please stay on the like side. <laughs> what did you like about this story featuring Tyrone Johnson as Cloak and Tandy Bowen as Dagger? These are their character names. What did you like about this show? Okay, what did I like about it? Okay, so y'all know if i mean our followers know i don't i write comics but i never really read comics coming up okay i never really read comic books because we didn't have comic books where my, I ears. my ears my ears <laughs> until I, I started living with with charlie there i lived with with um Aunt brenda and and chuck you know for a while and phil had some comic books so um so or chuck had some comic books so I read those, but other, but really, we only I only watch cartoons. I know every Spider Man episode, Batman, the animated series, Superman, all of that, all of them, I know them. But the the the, uh, the comic book characters hit or miss for me until I got older, <clears throat> and you know I got a job, and then I started buying comic books, and I love comic books. But characters like these with cloak and dagger, like I just don't think. I read. I I know their stories from the comics, but I just don't feel like they really warrant. A what did you like about TV this show? show. <laughs> 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 okay, what did I like? Okay, so that the acting was 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 pretty good. Like I, I the guy Aubrey Joseph, the one the guy who played Tyrone, he did. 
he did okay towards the end. Like, um, spoiler alert: the um, when he went to 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 kill the guy, you know, when he went with the gun, I really felt like he was emotional there. You know, they did a good job with kind of building him up to that point. You know, you understood why he was so angry with the flashbacks and the and the and you know how when his power started manifesting, how uh, you know it really showed the emotion. Um, and why he would be, you know, drawn to to do something like that, and you know that was pretty good. Um, the 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 boyfriend Liam was his name Liam. Um, Liam, Candy, yeah. I liked him. I liked him. <laughs> what she did to him was straight up savage. Like she was a straight up savage for that. Um, I don't feel like he deserved that. She should she should have went with your boy. Uh, she didn't mean like, did she even pick the call up? Like, <laughs> your boy got no. a picture. That- <laughs> she <laughs> she, she, she went to the voicemail. <laughs> she was like, you on your own, bro. Like, <laughs> she was just driving off like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, this dude, <laughs> this dude really, like, he really was like into you. Like, he, he believed in you, you know, all this stuff. Um, I don't like, I mean, I say that I like that I didn't like um, <laughs> because, like, in two episodes, they made me. I don't know if it was their goal to make me not like her, but they did it. They 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 were able to 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 make me feel an emotion about a character in two episodes. So that is a good thing. That's a positive, even though it was a negative um, negative emotion. But um. I mean, that's all I really can say that I liked about it. <laughs> okay, Mr. Taylor, what about you, sir? What did you like about Cloak and Dagger? I I thought the first episodes were pretty intriguing. To be honest with you, it's a very emotional show. Um, it's pretty raw with some of the uh, different drama that you kind of go through in the show. Um, you see a lot of different, uh, I guess. Like you see life through different points of views, um, different families, and kind of and it's it's a, it's a lot of good twists and turns. It kind of makes you, it gives you some questions about you know um, who we are as a society and as a people, and just kind of seeing two two young characters develop from two tragic points uh, that happened early in their life that basically, as I guess we find out now, turns them into this cloak and dagger uh, tandem, which I still don't really understand because I did not read the comics. Uh, at all, I uh, didn't really know about these characters at all. I saw it said Marvel, and I clicked on it. And I, was like, oh, let's watch some <laughs> I was actually watching it with, with my boys. I was uh, looking, I was like, hmm, I don't know if they're gonna want to watch mm-hmm. this, but they were intrigued for most of the show. And then we got to mm-hmm. some of the growner parts. I'm like, okay, y'all, I'm get on out of here. You know, I'll have to explain some of this stuff a little later. But uh, <laughs> but it was um, oh, it was I know what you're talking about now, boy. It was a it was a pretty good follow um, when we were watching. I think the things I really liked about it, I enjoyed the development of the characters on why they struggle with what they struggle with. So you kind of see them older, and you kind of um, you see kind of like what their life is like, but then you don't really understand who they are, and then you get see the flashbacks and all the different things that happen to them. Like when one one thing that did make me feel pretty bad for that little girl was when I when I guess her mom was supposed to pick her up for a ballet practice and she was out there <laughs> in the dang rain for like mm. all night. I'm like, yeah, they just left the little girl out there. They didn't even stay with her. The dad come out there. I'm like, you a sorry dad, bro. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I didn't know he wasn't supposed to pick her up. But I was kind of pissed off by that part. I'm like, dang, in the city, mm-hmm. just that's how people get snatched up. But uh. Mm. So I, I I didn't necessarily I count I was a little wondering about those parts and just trying to figure out what the show was about. So it was kind of cool me coming in not knowing too much about anything and just watching the show for what it is. So um, uh, also I really like the music. I like the way the the music tied into different scenes. Um, mm-hmm. It kind of it reminded me of some of the other uh, teenage shows. They always use a lot of music to transition okay. to different um, parts of the show uh, to kind of get you, you know, entry. And these drama shows with teenagers are, are starting to be pretty big. Um, people like to see 
drama with the teenagers, like the high school dramas and things that go on in high school, but we don't really show. But on these shows, especially on Netflix and some of the uh, other like Hulu's and Hulu channels, like you see a lot of young people in their drama and what they actually go through as <laughs> as kids. So um, it's not just adult drama and um, mm -hmm. seeing how. I mean, it didn't really go too too much into the actual powers, but kind of seeing the the manifest a little bit was pretty cool. Like they just kind of mm -hmm. happen. I like how I like how <laughs> right. they were just like, okay, just it's just shocking. How I was like, how are they going to use these powers? What did they do? Like, uh -huh. okay, this they touch each other, and you know, <laughs> I was completely unknown. Like, what does this? What does that do? But I guess as you continue to watch, you'll understand what happens with the powers and what they can do. A little more so i'm eager to see the rest of the episodes so but i did like the first two thought it was pretty good so i'm on the other side of the tory I'll, I'll leave it at that <laughs> for now until i watch the rest i might hate the rest of the re episodes i don't know I don't <laughs> right too much. Which is the... <laughs> all right so um the, the things that i like about this show uh number one i like tyrone like i like everything about the kid i like his personality i like he's a good kid and he's a good kid. He's been built, dealt a bad situation. And he just keeps getting dealt bad situations. But yet he deals with his situations pretty well overall. Even with the fight in the basketball gym. I couldn't blame him because the kid pushed him down I mean, blatantly multiple times. I mean, what are you supposed to do at that point? You know? Um, but everything about him is so cool. One of my favorite parts was when um, he was getting beat up by the kids. And he, you know, did... <laughs> he came back and he was still there. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was hilarious. <laughs> but uh, everything I, I, I like about him, I like when you first see him using the cloak when he's standing out there on the rooftop and his his uh, bed sheet is just blowing behind him and stuff like the cloak. Like that's how cloak looks. That's really cool to me. Um, and I really appreciate the level of quality that Marvel has for its shows and movies and, and everything that they do in this in these um in these fields outside of Iron Fist and Inhumans like their level of quality <laughs> is awesome like they really care Don't about their brand <laughs> <laughs> It's true outside of them two horrible shows their yeah, brand they, they care about their brand like I'm almost going to turn this into a bash on CW but I've been like watching the Flash and I've watched these shows because it's on Netflix now. I've watched these shows because I like superhero shows and I want to watch them. But I swear to God, it's like it's like <laughs> taking bad medicine. I mean, I'm like, I got oh oh my god! Like this show is oh my god. The writing is so about Flash. horrible. Huh? Don't you dare say a bad thing about Flash. Flash is a great show. You stop. Oh it. no! Oh no! Flash oh. is trash. Flash is trash. Right now. <laughs> no, no, bro. It is right now. Flash, Sorry. Flash is a great show. Uh, I don't know. Like I don't know if I'm going to get to make it through. The first two seasons were good. I'm leaving. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> we, need to, we, we need to digitally... Right, hey, we need to digitally add the lightning as he goes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come back, come back. But my point Flash. is the fact that, like, this show is, is very different. Like Marvel has a wide range of shows. Like they have shows more like Daredevil and stuff that's more gritty. This show is not as action packed. It's more drama oriented and then it's, it just has characters. But it has really good acting and, and really good storytelling overall. I mean, so I have to appreciate what Marvel's doing. And I like the cliffhanger. I thought that was pretty cool how um, it looked like your boy was about to shoot dude. And it's like, oh, he just left. No, he didn't leave. He teleported somewhere else accidentally. Like, that was dope. But that's what I liked about it. So let's, like, let's get into the dislikes. Everybody get comfortable. Because <clears throat> we're going to go to Mr. Danny first. And it's going to be a while. And first, I'm sure he's going to respond to that Flash comment first. We might not even finish. We might have to have a picture of Cloak and Dagger Flash. <laughs> <laughs> on our thing. Go ahead, Danny. The floor is yours, sir. What did you dislike? This family is a national treasure. You leave them alone. You will not say, we will not bash, bash Flash on this channel. We will not do it. We will, I will, I will not have it. I will not have it. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You live Are you the, done? It, it, Are you done? Right. Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but okay. So, all right, you brought up. You said the 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 network, like you you just like you just talked about the CW. Okay, so um, the CW's shows are kind of geared towards you know teenage girls mostly, right? So they're they're those shows are built to cater to that type of audience. Freeform is the same way. Like it literally used to be, um, what is it? The ABC Family Channel. So Freeform mm -hmm. used to be ABC Family, where you would get your Dawson's Creek and uh, was Dawson Creek on there? Like shows like that would be on uh, ABC Family. So this show, you know, to me, it just felt like that, and not, not. Maybe I'm just getting old, or maybe I'm just you know an older dude now. But I couldn't really get into the psychology of the of the kids because you know, both of them are having okay so all right let me let me stop and go back to the beginning <laughs> so <laughs> cloak and dagger the comics this is a, a comic series that i actually do know like i told you i don't read i didn't read a lot of comics but cloak and dagger is a comic series that i actually do know they were introduced through spider-man their whole um their whole thing was they wanted to kill everybody who um, was dealing drugs. They wanted to kill drug dealers. They wanted to get rid of all, rid of all the drug dealers. So now mm -hmm. your girl, your girl is addicted to drugs, and your boy, um, his his brother was accused of being into drugs when he died. Right. So the the cops, the cops said that that it was drugs that he died from. Like this uh evil they, they they said that this evil cop didn't even exist like, so the guy the guy that he's chasing they say he didn't even exist so that drives him that drives him to go search him out so he shows up with the bat like he's about to, to beat your boy up and you know his powers manifest i guess and he disappears <laughs> so he does and he does one google search and finds him right <laughs> right <laughs> like he didn't have to like yeah and it, it don't work like that but uh, I just didn't. I couldn't get. I really couldn't get into the to the high school thing. And I know also from the comics, he's supposed to have a speech impediment. He's supposed to have. Um, and I guess he, you know, they kind of they kind of play with that a little bit because it seemed like he was a little awkward. But the reason that in the comics that his brother died was because um, he had he had to stutter and he couldn't call out to his brother in time to tell him about um, the the shooter. So. Oh. Um, you know, that, that also, I, I saw that they tried to, you know, do, do a little bit with that in the, um, in this flashback, but you know, this is a, I guess this is me, you know, suffering from, it's not like the comics, but I understand because mm -hmm. like, like, again, I, I said it's on freeform TV and they have to cater to the <clears> audience. <throat> now, again, another thing from the comics, their powers don't have much to do with them touching each other. Like the, their powers manifesting from them touching each other isn't like they're not mutants. They're not. They're not mutants. They're not. Um. They're not genetically enhanced. These two pe These two people. They got their powers in the comics. They got their powers from uh from a drug that was injected into them. They were being used as scientific experiments, and they were drugged and they survived an the experiment. It's kind of like the Maximoff kids. Um. So. That's another thing. Like I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, I'm the old, I'm the old dude. Like, uh, this is not like the comics. This, this is not mm -hmm. like the comics. That's exactly. Yeah. So exactly. But, <laughs> you know, this, this is the one rare time where I'm like, okay, I know what the what the comics are supposed to be like, and this is just not, this is just not it. And then on top of that, them them acting like your boy was LeBron in the basketball game, and your boy beating him up. And nobody calling a foul. Like I'm like, we're watching the finals on TV. That's not how it works. I'm watch I'm literally watching the NBA finals. And that would be a <laughs> Oh, you mean like K D. <laughs> right. You thought he was like KD uh Steph Curry. Yeah, they, they thought that he was a superstar and he didn't get them calls. But um and then your girl is the worst thief ever. Like she's <laughs> she still every time she steals from somebody she just waits around until they see her until they really <laughs> realize that, that, that they've gotten stolen from and try to run that, that's the dumbest just steal the stuff and, and they get caught uh, uh. So, so stuff like that just you know just took me out i know i'm way past my time but stuff like that just 
just rubbed me the wrong way. I'm I am gonna give you know I always give it you know uh, four to six episodes, so I'm gonna give it four and and we'll see. But I, I, I'm not feeling. It. All right. So your main thing was is it wasn't true to the original, and also you're old. Like you're not you can't relate to high school <laughs> stuff. Okay. All right, Charlie. Charlie, as the youngest of us, what do you think about this? Show? What do you dislike about this show? How did this show fail? <laughs> How did it fail? I don't think it failed. Um, I'm still. I mean, it's a little slow. The development of the actual show is a little slow, but I understand that they're trying to build up something. So I guess, you know, since it's a TV series, they got enough time to kind of expand. They don't have to rush into things. And since no, most people don't really know about these characters, I guess inside, outside of Tori, uh, D, DJ Clue over there, um, he, he seems to know a lot about them. I didn't know very much about them at all. I don't know where you found those comics at my house. I, I didn't read any of them either. But um, <laughs> but I think it's, uh, it could. Um, I think the pace is going to start picking up now in the third episode. But the first two episodes, it was a little slow. And I guess seeing all the different family problems is a lot to take in to the show. So it's like you're trying mm -hmm. to see like what's up with the mama. I know she lost her son, which was horrible. But then she went. And I saw her get a gun, and like, like she shot something outside. I'm like, I need to rewind. Rewind. What happened on that pitch? What happened right there? Y'all mm. didn't see that, did you? She had a she had a gun. No. And she went outside and shot it, and then she came back the in. Mom and did? Like, the mom Yeah, Tyrone's mom. Oh, no, Tyrone's mom. Yes, Tyrone's mom has has uh, uh she has a gun, and she walks out to her screen door and points it down. At like the ground, like she's about to shoot something, and then comes back in. I'm like, the heck was that about? I ain't, I ain't see that, dude. You got you watching the black mar market version. <laughs> I missed that too. We I'm know like, how you do. See that part. <laughs> that was um, not clear anyway. That was that was a, that was it was on there. I did see it, but um, you know, so I I think that's that's probably the only thing it could could just speed up a little bit more. Um, but other than that, I, I really enjoyed the show and kind of intrigued to kind of see what they're going to do with all these different characters. It's a lot of sadness. It's not very much happiness. So if you're looking for right. jokes and, and, and quick and quick little kicks and stuff, just something just to watch to enjoy yourself. No, this might not be the show to watch. It's going to make you feel something. It's going to make you, uh, if you're watching with some kids, they're going to make you, hey, uh, yeah, this, this could really happen. So y'all all chill out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, be be aware. <laughs> this is this is a little bit more realer than you probably think it is. <laughs> they just no no comic book people web shooting and running around. You know, so um, it does make you have some tough questions and seeing like the kids are homeless and things, and you know parents are addicted, families getting torn apart from tragedy, and just kind of seeing that way work out. That's that's a little tough. So that that I, I'm not gonna say that's something I dislike, but it's something you have to be aware of when you're about to watch a show. Mm -hmm. So it's not like Flash. I mean, ain't nothing sad in Flash. I mean, they're no. gonna use the same characters over and what? over and over and over again. The same bad guy is gonna continue to be the Very bad guy on season died. five. His dad died. He's gonna come back. He's always gonna come back. He'll be in some new dimension, and he'll be right. like, he'll be a bad guy coming from the future, and he'll be the new exactly. host. That's, what, <laughs> That's what it is. All of them are the no. same. He Barry had to Dude, he, the Flash. Wait a second. The Flash disappeared into this into the Speed Force at the end of the last season. Like, oh my God, what's gonna happen to him? Oh, he's back in the first twelve minutes of the first episode. Come yeah. on, man. You Come on, Dude. <laughs> Flash. Come on now, you can't go without Flash. Of course, he was gonna come back, but the the, the repercussions of him coming back is what the we're gonna do a Flash episode because y'all are losing it. Yes, my ah. God, please. I want to talk about. I want to be. I've been sitting there watching this show like my God. I need to have somebody come and watch this show with me because I can't just jump on Twitter and just talk about how bad this show is because I seem like a hater. Like I need somebody else with me to hate this show as well. I want to hey, like hey, the hey. Flash so bad. I want to like it. God, I want to like it. But it is like the writing. The writing Harrison is so bad. <laughs> Every Harrison Will in the show is the best. Like this dude is a supreme. I like Harrison Wills. 
I like him. This dude I like him. We don't disagree on that. Of the same I character in, in five seasons. The dude is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yes, I understand. He is. I'm just tired of him using the same character as the bad guy. <laughs> and then or make make a good guy a bad guy as as the bad as you know the bad. I'm like, can we have some new people on the main show? Does everybody just have to just turn and be a talking about Dagger? Are we talking oh, about sorry. Go go back to Dagger. Just like a flash just jumped in here. Sorry, go okay. ahead, Rashad. Your turn. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna get into something real small first. Um Dagger's power of having the ability to rehash her own memory is dumb. <laughs> like when Cloak touches people, it seems like they remember something. Like they both share the memory and like it drains them. But when she touches people, she has her own memory. No, what she does stupid power is, What kind of stupid she power is that? She does not have <laughs> her own memory. It is. When she touched dude, when she touched Liam, she touched him, and then she had a flashback of them talking. Like I think it was like roughly around the first time oh, that they met. No, see you. That's completely wrong. No, she saw that his, exactly what happened. What he you was over just talking her. about the scene that wasn't in the movie. Talking about the the, the mom shooting back the girls it. outside the door. I can't trust your I'm judgment. Find it. I'm about to find it now. So y'all don't piss me off now. I'm about to go. I'm about to search. <laughs> anyway, so all right, that's one thing. Um, I wish I kind of might be with you a little bit here, Dan. I'm surprised you didn't say this part, but I think maybe as a as an older person, you make it relate to this. I wish that Tyrone would kind of fill his parents in on some things that's happening. Like he is, he's very secretive, but he's secretive on stuff that I don't think he needs to be secretive on. Like the fact that he saw his brother's killer. I think might be something that he might want to actually tell his parents. They actually right. might want to know. Now, the fact that he want want he want to go out there himself and kill the dude—that's something you don't tell your parents. But the fact you saw this, hey, I just saw this guy. Remember when I was eight years old and I saw him? I found him on Google. This is exactly the guy that I found. That might be something you want to tell, or you just got your butt kicked by half the basketball team. That might be something you might want to talk about. <laughs> Instead of, yo, everything is just fine, you know, or the second time that I, I teleported, like in somebody's trunk, I might, yeah, mom and dad, something, something is <laughs> happening. There's a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, well, my third thing here, uh, Charlie, you took the words right out of my mouth. The very first things that you said. It's a little slow. Honestly, it's a lot slow. And um, I said what I said when I said I like the show because I can respect the show. The show is very well put together. I think the acting is great, particularly with Tyrone. I really like him. I think, but I, the acting is great. All is believable. The tense for the most part, you know, I mean, there's some things with Tyrone, again, I would do that, handle things differently, but it still makes sense, you know what I mean? But overall, for me, I just prefer a different type of show, you know? I struggle, like, by the time I got to the end of the second episode, like, like I'm a little anxious. I'm like, all right, come on, I'm, I'm ready for something to happen. And honestly, if this were a show that just came out a week like it is, I guess, I'm going to struggle to watch it. Like, I, I might find myself waiting till the whole thing comes out and then binge watching it that way. But watching it from week to week to week, right now, it doesn't have my attention enough to do it. I will watch the third one because that cliffhanger at the end of the second episode was really good. But I need, for, for me, it's not a bad show. But for me, I need things to happen for me to be engaged in this show. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, Danny. Uh, should people watch this show? Um, I'm going to say no. There's too much good TV out there. Um, you know, I mean, it's on Hulu, so if you don't have absolutely anything else to watch, sure. But it's not anything I would I would uh, take time out of my day to look for. So uh, check it out when the, when the season is over, maybe. What do you think? 
And um, why don't you, while you're there, sir, why don't you go ahead and give us your closing spiel? <sighs> I'm just trying to, you know, get through this. Uh, we finished up the Kickstarter, so I'm trying to, uh, trying to, trying to move on to the next thing with Ace Play. We got a a, a short film coming up, and we got a, uh, a a Lumberjacks comic coming up. So make sure you check that out. Um, but until next time, stay vigilant, my friends. I'm out. Nice. And do we still have Mr. Charlie Taylor, or is he going back to watch? I think he's I think he's uh pulling up Hulu right now, trying to watch episodes, trying to find things that weren't there. Obviously, Charlie would tell you to watch this show. <laughs> so we're just gonna go uh, we're just gonna go ahead and and go on that. Um, for me, I can I would say this show is not for everybody, but for people who like this type of show. I think you're going to really like it. Um, again, it's very well written. It is very engaging. Um, I'm going to watch the show, but it's not something like like Agents of Shield, where I'm like I can't wait to see the next episode. So I guess I'm kind of in the middle because again, you know, uh, 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 Danny over there, he's he's Dagger on the one side, one extreme, and Charlie's on the other scene, the uh, the dark cloak. So I'm purple cloak, so I'm in the middle. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for watching another episode of Color Commentary. If you liked our video, make sure that you give it a like and check out our comments, because if we said something that was wrong, make sure uh, you leave a comment so we can tell you how you're wrong <laughs> or how or how I was right. Either one. <laughs> also, uh, you scroll down like also if you want to talk about the flash, whether you like the flash and there's something wrong with you or if you dislike the flash and there's something wrong with you. See, Danny, I I'm on both sides. I'm on both sides there. <laughs> Trying to be fair here. <laughs> but let's just let's just admit real quick that uh Joe's wife is the worst attorney of all time. His wife is a horrible attorney. She had plenty of open opportunities to defend Stop Barry it. and said no. We don't have time. Stop it. We don't have time. Stop it. We're gonna fight it. <laughs> So again, thank you for watching Color Commentary. Make sure you look at the description where you can see other episodes and uh, check out what's happening. And again, we're Color Commentary where we give you views from the cloak and dagger side. Peace. Ow! Damn it! And it's gotta be Ow! That crap, that hurt. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Let me try that again. Here we go. Will we give you views from a cloak and dagger side? Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got to be Sentimental's project. That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Turn on the TV to power.